Hey everyone, it's Brian Altano here at PAX South 2019 at the Days Gone booth where fans in North America for the very first time are playing Days Gone, Sony's brand new open world survival game. Let's see if they made it out alive or if they died. They didn't die. They're okay. But we're going to talk to them anyway. Alright, so which demo of the two demos did you get to play? I did the survival one, the, the one where you got to fight off the horde. Come on boys, we're just getting started. Did you keep everyone alive, or how did you do? Did you live? Did you die? Well, I died because I accidentally killed myself with my own bomb. All right, so you just played Days Gone. Which demo did you choose? I tried the survival horror one. Uh, was Make Them Safe. Yeah, that was fun. It was fun. It was difficult, but it was fun. You have a horde of tons of freakers in there. Um, you have different things you can use, traps, um, lures to bring them out. What I tried to do in that one, it was extremely hard. So I used a lot of traps, um, molotovs, stuff like that, and kind of lead them out in tunnels and go through that way. All right, so you made it through the story demo, right? Yeah. What was your tactic to survive? So ammo was very scarce, so I was only able to take down about four or five of them, and I had to just take off and run until they finally stopped following me. <laughs> Wanted a freak show. <sighs> Shit. Place is crawling. Okay, so you did the story demo. I did. Did you make it all the way to the end? Yes. I was definitely more of a sneaky Let's get in and kind of not bother anyone kind of player. You're one of the first people I talked to today that actually really attempted stealth. I think most people went in guns blazing and it didn't work out so well. So tell me about how and why your stealth approach worked. The way I thought about it is you go in, you play the game, and as you're going through, you see all of the little freakers running around. Do you want to attract all of them at once and then have to fight your way out? Or do you want to like take them out one at a time and then it makes it easier when you're trying to get back out? You're smart. <laughs> I think a lot of people did not attempt that at all. How many freakers did you end up taking on at once? Three to four at most, not much. Did you use any explosives or anything like that? I did. They were really fun. It was probably the most fun I've had using an explosive in a video game in a long time. Uh, what did you use specifically and how did it work out? Um, it was like the tank of gasoline and you basically threw it and shot it with a shotgun and it exploded. Kill them all. It's overwhelming, right? It really is, yeah, but it's super cool. I do like all of the devices you do have to use in that, so I'm glad I got to try that out too, besides the story one. So it does seem like we'll have a lot of things to choose from. This is the first time I've ever played a survival horror zombie game that's like this, this none other. I, I enjoyed it. Are you excited to play the full version of the game and, and get revenge? Oh yeah, yeah. Once I get the full game, I'm coming after them all. Are you gonna get the full game when it comes out? Absolutely. So excited. Are you excited to keep playing the game when it comes out? Very excited. I want to be able to roam that open world and eventually get my hands on that motorcycle. Now, as you can see, anything can happen in Days Gone, and most of it is incredibly violent. Now, for all things Days Gone and Pack South, you're already in the right place. IGN, it's time to roll out of here. It's bolted to the ground. I can't. I'm stuck. <laughs>